Simon uh, Caulfield, and you've got Twilight again, uh, heads the 1,400-metre uh, handicap. Yeah, look, I uh, just wanted to get it back to Caulfield. Uh, she had seven goes there for uh, running the placings four times and a couple of wins, so uh, she appreciates it there. She's uh, well-weighted, uh, drawn OK for her because she'll get back a bit and if there's speed on and she can finish over the top. How's, uh, how's she looking going into this race? Yeah, look, it was a fraction disappointing the other day. She's been going really well and uh, just found Flemington just a bit tough for her. But her work since has been ter terrific and back to mare's grade really really should suit her. And uh, I think by about the top three or four, it's a pretty even sort of race. Smackdown and goes in the Lapine Funerals Handicap over 1,100 metres. Yeah, look, uh, throw him in the deep end a bit. But we've, uh, he's been pretty consistent all preparation. Um, just giving him a bit of a fresh up. He's had uh, nearly a month in between the runs. So he's drawn the one. Looks like enough speed. He should get a lovely sitting behind him. And, you know, if he's good enough, he, you know, he'll, be in, he'll be in the finish. Is this his first time at Caulfield? I know. He ran, when he first got over from New Zealand, he had a run for Osti Coffee at Caulfield. Uh, ran into hot spin there. So... Um, uh, but look, he's you know he's going really well this horse. We're throwing him in the deep end, but um, you know he looks well enough, and you know we wouldn't be throwing him there if we didn't think he had some, some sort of chance. Then you've got Mopari in the Nine West Plate over a uh, thousand metres. Yeah, look, can come back in really good order. Just drawn a bit awkward, and uh, looks like a, sh a lot of speed in that race. So um, just uh, got, got to have to work it out from there. But uh, she should cross somewhere and hopefully get a, a bit of cover. She obviously won't be in the first few, so we'll sit back and hopefully that there's enough speed that you can come back over the top of them. Yeah, look, she shows a great gate speed. She had two jump outs this, this time in, let them up both times, but she's drawn out wide, so um, uh, look, there's a fair bit of speed out wide, so she should be able to get across somewhere and shouldn't be far from them. Then you've got uh, Menage Charge also joins in this race. Yeah, look, she's come back in great order, looks fantastic. A um, bit of a tough race for her first assignment, but drawn really well to get a, a lovely cart in the race. And, um, you know, she looks like a really nice filly on the way up. So uh, if she's competitive in this sort of race, we'll be happy. Then you've got Epic Saga in the English bonus handicap over 1,700 metres. Yeah, look, going terrific. This horse probably was a bit stiff. He should have won last start. Um, stepped up to the 1,700, which he should appreciate. And uh, to me, it looks really, really well weighted in this. Drawn, drawn really, really well. So a lot of ticks for him. Um, and if he's good enough, he'll get every chance. Uh, the wet track, is that good for him or bad for him? Oh, it doesn't really uh, concern him. He's, he's run on both and gone competitive on both, but Caulfield drains pretty well and, uh, you know, it shouldn't be too bad there. So from what you're saying, by the looks of it, Epic Saga is the one to follow for this weekend? Yeah, I, like to, I think so. And, you know, we've got a good opinion of Menage Charge and I, and I think Twilighting's in a right race.